So I know I made a video a couple weeks ago explaining uh, what's going on with the channel and uh, you know how I have you know a job and a lot of stuff that's getting in the way and that makes it pretty difficult to make videos and that I had a hard drive um, that was up in the air. Uh, I will say I've lost that hard drive since all the data on it's lost, which is a lot of years worth of work. Um, but that's not the only thing that's kind of holding me back from wanting to make the stuff I want to make on this channel. Um, there's stuff I've kind of been meaning to talk about for a couple of years, but, you know. Alright, I'm trans, okay? There, I ripped the band-aid off, alright? Okay, there's the fucking elephant in the room. I haven't talked about it for like the last two years when I really start thinking about it. There's a lot of reasons why I'm doing this. I kind of had a discovery of this shit about like five years when I started doing cross-dressing and shit. Again, shit that you haven't seen on YouTube. There was even a video from years ago I lost when I was doing Killing Floor with a friend. I was in a dress the whole time, though there was no webcam, so to speak. <sighs> This is kind of a big deal for me. This is a thing. Some of my friends know about it. One of my moms knows about it. The other ones here, the you know, my main parents, they don't really know. They know I've had musings about it, but I've never fully come out to them. Um, part of that is I understand they'll be supportive of it, but my mom is kind of a weird person. Okay, she's been a feminist for God knows fucking how long. And great fucking person for it, but it's one of those things where... As someone who's had, she's had a son for the past 26 fucking years, and when it's just my gender changing, but not the rest of my personality or anything really, that I feel like is going to bring up some arguments later in life. Where she's like, you don't act like a girl, but I don't feel like I should have to. I feel like if I just want to look the way I want to look and sound the way I want to sound, that should be enough. And I think that's eventually what will happen. I just... It's just been weird to want to come out to them because then they're going to ask certain questions like, are you really sure, you know, if you support this, you know, this is going to take a while, you know, HRT and there's going to be all the struggles and shit. But the real thing I want to bring up is why there's people that are going to watch this and be going, well, Yuri, why should, why should we fucking care? Why, what, what the fuck does this have? How is this going to have any effect on you making fucking YouTube videos like trains are going to shit? And the thing is, it actually is going to have an effect if I can play my financial cards right. I, I stumbled upon this like a year and a half ago. I figured out who Project Melody was. I had no idea who the fuck they were originally. I never really watched a stream, but I've watched through the clips, and that's kind of how I know. Um, then I figured out who the fuck VTubers were, which again, I had no idea. I've all figured this shit out in like the past year or so, really. Um, and that kind of brought about some ideas the, the main thing that started was about a year ago uh, almost a year ago now it's like march 2020 or something with hanging with some friends over discord and i'd heard of um nico Parra thanks to maxor and i had you know i'd known about what it was for a while but not fully and so we had the games and a bunch of us fucking he streamed all through all three games over the course of like six months or whatever nico Parra one two three and recently four which i wasn't really there for most of because i was at work um, but, uh, I don't know if anyone's seen this, but a couple of my friends call me nuts on stream. I, I like to think that they spell N-U-T-Z. Some people think it's spelled the regular way. I don't know. But, um, mainly after Coconut, which is a character on Nikopara, that I really took a liking to a lot. Um, specifically with your personality. I don't know. I saw some of myself in her. I don't, I know it sounds weeaboo-ish and shit, but that's kind of how it is. But that kind of made... It brought forth something that I've had for a while, but hadn't really put some serious thought into, which is something called gender dysphoria. Which is, it's like being transgender, but you really, it, it's like a mind fuck where you really don't feel like you're in the right body or you're in the right appearance or something, and there's nothing you can really do to make it stop. You can have ASMR, you know, therapy or certain things, but nothing really fully makes it go away until, like, you complete a transition or something. You know, I like to think I'm kind of pretty and stuff, but, you know, for the most part, the real goal appearance that I really want is not what I am right now. And until that happens, you know, it's going to have an effect on me. But this brings back to the whole VTubers thing, as I was considering maybe going that route. 
But here's the main thing. I want to make this really fucking clear right in the beginning. This isn't going to affect what the fuck I do with my videos. The shitty hot fucking live streams of games I do with my friends on Discord. That shit's not changing. My fucking Train Sim World videos of me modding shit that the community is looking at me going, why the fuck do you care about this so much? That kind of shit, like modding signals and stuff, where most people look at the stream and go, what the fuck is wrong with you? That stuff's staying. Me making mods for Train Sim World, that's still happening. My Run 8 videos that I used to do. The Run 8 music videos, if I can remember the, you know, how to really get into those. It gets a better editing software. That kind of shit is staying. You know, I have other cinematics. I mean, the fact that I had a hard drive with the last seven years of my life of rail fanning, you know, it, it's all gone. You know, almost four ter three terabytes worth of my life is gone forever. Is a is a big, it's a big kick in the teeth, and it's been hurting for the past like two two weeks or so. When I found out, because it had been in salvage data's possession for like almost two for over two months before I. You know, it's found out that a lot of my work was gone forever, including rail fanning videos of things that I'll never get to see again. Um, and including music video projects that I was actually working on. The VTuber thing is the thing I'm trying to work on right now. For those who don't really know, I have like a little desktop over here. That's been dead for two years. Okay, the it powers on, but the shit's busted. Okay, I'd have to get a whole new motherboard and shit. And probably a new graphics card, which I have, thanks to my friend Constar. If anyone's ever heard of him, like stream Constar two sixty one again. Thank you for the fucking GTX ten seventy that I haven't used yet. It's fucking awesome. But there's a desktop. It doesn't really work here. But that was a really underpowered one. I used it for running Run eight servers, and it was struggling to do just that. It was old. It was from like two thousand nine. My original. Toshiba laptop's also dead, so I had this one, which is the Acer Nitro 5 that I've had for the past two years, getting closer to three once it turns July, and it served me pretty well, but this laptop's all I've got, you know, it's only got an i5 processor in it, and it's limited, so when I started looking to VTuber stuff in the last couple days about is it feasible, I started realizing that I'm going to run into some bottlenecks really quick, so if you're like, well, you know, I can't do a 2D avatar. I can't do a 2D avatar because it uses up so much CPU, and I'm limited on CPU as is just for doing regular live streams. If I try to add a VTuber fact to that, I'm, the live streams are over before they begin. It's going to be laggy, it's going to look like shit, and I'm going to hate every second of it. 3D stuff, I found some stuff that kind of works, but I don't... Some of it doesn't even require me to have, you know, using my hands or anything, where there's not a lot of stuff, you know, kind of uses your mic to track your voice, you know, do lip syncing, which doesn't always work. And kind of just moving around, kind of using like whatever it's bound to your mouse, whatever it is. There's shit like that. And I've been I've been toying with ideas like this. And the one thing that I want to bring up, because I want to make this kind of clear to people, the avatar is not going to be the same gender I am. For the most part, who don't already understand, I'm biologically male. It's how I've been born. And even if I were to change transition to a female, I'm not getting this sexual reassignment surgery shit. First of all, because it's painful. Second of all, it ruins everything. I'm that's not a part of me that makes me uncomfortable. Just saying for this moment. Um, but just mainly this is what I'm trying to fix. I don't think I'm broken, but you get what I mean. Also, I apologize for the light being bright. I have a desk lamp right here that makes it easier for me to see because my lighting situation is pretty um, abysmal on this desk right now. <clears throat> but this is going to change some things on the channel. It's not going to change the way I do my videos. It just might change the setup. And again, like I said, this is one of those things where if I can financially play my cards right, I can make it work. But getting a VTuber model, people say, well, it's always, it's easy, just commission one. And then they're like, it's only $1,000. Just because I have enough money like that right now. Right now, I don't know if anyone, no one knew this, but as of last Saturday, I you know, got COVID. I'm, I'm on it right now. My folks have it too. You can blame my intermodal ramp that I work with for any shit, uh, you know, health policies. And I ain't saying which one it is. So other people in my work probably got infected too. So it was through them. I wore my mask. A lot of other people didn't. A few of those guys were kind of nice, but a lot of them didn't. And we were in a crew office. It was small. 
so I'm on that. I'm self-quarantining. I got my test on the 17th. It's the 20th right now. So that's when I got my test on the 16th. It came back on the 17th. And you know, I've been quarant I got a quarantine for the next 10 days, and I'm more concerned. I'm less concerned about what happens to me than I am concerned about what happens to my parents. That's why I've had more time to research this stuff and why, like I did a live stream the other day, because I, 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 I have the time to do it now. You know, I still have to do things, clean the house, you know, just shit like that. But I can't go outside of the house. And you know, I've got HO trains and stuff. I got DCC recently for my birthday. Thanks, mom. Um, shit like that. So there's gonna be more videos on that kind of stuff. I might try some new avenues of live streaming trains and my kind of broke ass looking layout that I haven't fully cleaned up. Um, but this this transgender thing is an important thing because I need this to be happy, and until I can do it, there's always going to be dealing with dysphoria, which to some people is kind of just like, oh, isn't that envy of the other gender? No, it's it's different than that. It's looking in the mirror, or not even like if you're trying to dream or fantasize about fantasizing with who you look like now, like most people do. And you know, I for the last several years, most of my video game characters that I choose when I get to choose a character are female, because it fits who I feel I am. And it took a long time to really, you know, figure this all out. And you know, it, the, the, you might notice a bit of a, a persona change though throughout my videos. One of the things I've noticed is that I complain about certain things, not so much on here, but on Discord, like about you know, open rails versus MSTS, and why I like the older stuff. I like older things sometimes, even if the newer thing is better overall. I like the older shit, and I kind of voice that, and I know that that makes people pissed off sometimes. Not that they're wrong or that they're assholes, but just that I have to do a lot of soul searching to really determine who I. I like to think I have a level-headed personality, but in reality, I don't think that that's how it gets viewed by a lot of other people. And I've tried to fix that. I've really tried to work on it. I'm a lot better than I was, you know, six, seven years ago. I like to think. But again, you know, I only have my perspective on that. There's, um, you know, this is, a, it, it, to most people, this, you know, you wouldn't even think this is a thing. You know, you wouldn't notice it. Granted, I know that most of the people that are subscribed to me don't watch my stuff. And that's not like a guilt tripping thing. I looked at my analytics the other day. 5% of my viewers are subscribers and the rest of it's all unsubscribed. Apparently 90% of YouTube channels are like that though. The subscribe function is bas basically useless um, these days. It doesn't It doesn't help any. It doesn't help any. <clears throat> Sorry, I still got phlegm. It doesn't help anyone. So hopefully if I provide it, I survive COVID, which... I'm hoping for, but uh, I wouldn't mold my breath. <laughs> Gallows humor. It's helpful sometimes. Um, I just, I, you know, I just, I want to make things work for this channel, but I also want to be able to be happy when I'm making this stuff. And that's kind of in the balance right now. And, um, you know, I'm looking away a lot. I just, it's, it happens when I'm trying to think about this stuff. I want to do VTubing and I want it to be the same thing. The, one thing you never see VTubers do, no one's ever done mixed VTubing with train sim. That's the thing I want to be able to start. Um, you know, I want it to be, you know, if there's a, you know, a cat girl VTuber that's out that looks kind of like Coconut from Nika Par that's teaching you how to do a class 2 break test in train sim world. Yeah, that's the kind of shit I want to do. It's boring for most people, but it's something I find fun. What are my cats doing? What the fuck are you two doing? Get over here. Um, also, new, new chair. I got rid of the shitty one, so I can actually be comfortable when I'm streaming now. Again, birthday present. You know, most of the stuff I have is that I've gotten over the like last year or two is stuff that my folks got me so I can have an apartment when I move out. Because my current job's like 35 minutes away, so... It'd be really stupid to get an apartment now because I'd just be burning money for no benefit. Um, 
but I mean, I've had apartments before, but that was for college, and I made that work for like well, almost two years. Would you two fuck off? Hey. There you go. Um, and I just hope that, you know, this doesn't, you know, put some people off the, my channel. Because they're thinking, well, now it's just trans tuber. It's all about LGBT, right? No, no, no. The goal of this channel is going to stay the same. And the content on it is going to stay the same. But if you see a VTuber avatar on the side of it, that's just going to be a thing. Again, unlike most people that do VTubing, that's not the sole thing. Most people have seen some, some of my videos on the webcam, they've seen my face. I swap on and off on between those kinds of videos, but it allows me to feel more myself if the appearance that you see on the screen is female. Because that's how I feel. And that's why I don't I don't hate my voice, but it's not the voice that I really like, because... And apparently it's a thing, it's called like Baba Niki or, or something, which is being a VTuber but having the... of one gender but having an avatar of the other gender. It's apparently an actual thing that is fine in Japan, but I'm here in the West, in the US, so... You know, we've got some progressive stuff here, but it's it's gonna... I'm worried it's gonna hit, you know, piss off some people on the channel, and it might! But it's not going to necessarily stop me from doing it. It all determines, can I get the money for it? So what you might see is if it does work out in any way, shape, or form, I'm going to be using some freebie avatars that I'm going to be trying to get my hands on, which has been a real fucking nightmare right now. And meaning that, unlike most VTubers that have a model and kind of stick with it and maybe change it 17 years down the road, for me you might see like six different changes. Because, you know, I don't just have, I've got money saved up, but I'm not getting paid right now because I'm out of work because of COVID. And I can't just keep throwing large sums of money at the wall just for VTuber avatar. Because once they go back to work, all, this whole uploading schedule is going to go away. And I don't have, like most, most VTubers, most YouTubers that do stuff these days to get views have a schedule. Because of my living situation, I don't have a schedule. Same with my work. Live streaming is one of those things of, can I find a two-hour period where no one will fucking annoy me or interrupt me while I'm doing this? The answer is usually there isn't a period like that. There's always going to be some sort of interruption. So this is, you know, a game plan several years in the making. My goal is just to, you know get this transition thing done before I'm 30 because I know I might not change that much in the next four years but in my opinion if I turn 30 I don't feel like I'm going to be pretty looking anymore even if that might not be true I know this is a long-winded video and some people are thinking just shut the fuck up and get to the point <sighs> yeah it's this going to be a it's a long journey this whole transgender thing with swapping genders it's going to take a while but hopefully it'll be you know, for the best for me, and hopefully it'll be the best for the channel. Because if I'm not enjoying things, you know, kind of a quote like Reggie from Nintendo, if a game's not fun, why play it? If making content isn't fun, why do it? That's how I feel with this channel. If I'm not having fun with it, then why continue it? Why force myself to do something that I'm only doing for the viewers, but not for my enjoyment? So, uh, yeah, that's that's the whole update, and uh, I really just wanted to get this out there, and hopefully it has some sort of reach. I'm not expecting any views on this or any real feedback on it, but you know, if you got something you want to say in the comments, go ahead and say it. I, I read every comment I get. I really try to, and I try to respond to any ones that I can. I fucked up in the last several years of not doing it, but I really try to... Every comment counts for me. It really matters when people comment, because I try to write back to that shit as soon as humanly possible, or if I can remember to, and if I don't, I go back through the list and find out what I fucked up and didn't respond to. I actually do that. A lot of big YouTubers don't always do that, but, you know, I'm still really small, you know, so I try to work on that, so. If you guys got something to say, say it. I always look forward to it. And, um, I guess I'll see you guys later. This has been Yuri. Uh, Ta-ta for now.